God, dude, this thing is like frozen now. It's literally frozen. It's too cold for this body to be sitting out here. Well, we need to do something now. We can't just be standing around. Well, now, that's why we're out here doing now. Let's go find something to disguise this thing with. What? You gotta be quiet, bro. Your neighbor's gonna walk out here and we're gonna be screwed before we even get to do anything. It was warmer out earlier, but we couldn't move the body earlier. Yeah, it would've just been way too many people outside to see, yo, what's going on? We did not want to chance this right now. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And we're trying to find something that we can disguise this thing with, bro. Because if we just, like... I'm just saying, we just take it and run down the street. No, tree. dude, bro, put the body over our shoulder. Dude, look, run. there's literally. Dude, if look someone how dark even it is sees, over there. if someone even opens their curtain and sees that, they're calling the cops. We're all going to jail. All right, so we got a tent. We got. Uh, yeah, let's just set up a tent. That's you know, station. Dude, there. just stop. <sighs> Come on. All right, we got shovels. We need shovels for sure. Shovels right there. Don't forget those two shovels. We're both digging today. Put them, put them in a tarp. We got a tarp here. We got a tarp here. We have, a, we have like six different tarps. Another one right here. Dude, we can't use it. I don't think it's a good idea to use a tarp. Dude, we can literally run down the street now. Yeah. It is pitch black over there. And it's three o'clock in the morning. I'm not chancing being sleeping. seen with a dead Dude, body. It's not even, the woods are not even that Dude, far away. Holly, you're just, oh, oh you're aggravated it, right I'm aggravated. I'm stressed out. This kid is the one, you're the one that left it in there. And then this kid over here wants to call a funeral home. The only one here that's speaking logically is me so far. I said we run down the street with the, with Bro, the freaking thing. It, it's not happening. If we get seen with the body, we're going to jail. We can't use a, a bag either. They, if we see, they see us dragging a bag down the street, instant 911 call. Let's, ah. Uh, Dude, I think the only thing, logical thing, since you say we need to speak logically, is, I mean, he, he's pretty life-size. Like, he's like a, he's like a teenager. He's not like a baby. Right? Say he's how, he's, how tall is he? This high? Something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. You know what? And I don't want to remember. Let me go see how tall he is. It's not a baby. If it's a baby, my plan's not going to work. But if it's a teenager, I have an idea. Terrible touching this thing, but oh, dude, it's tall. Oh, it's like it's like five ten. It was a teenager. Five ten. It's like yeah, it's like five five. Oh god, it's kind of heavy and it's, I don't, it's cold. I don't want to break it, but yeah, I have a plan. We're gonna dress him up. With what? A human. We're going Are you to get, kidding? Me? I swear to God, we're going to dress him up, cover every ounce that you can see of his skin or his bones, and no one's gonna tell a difference. It's better than running down the street with freaking skeleton, bro. You're playing dress up with a dead body. Shut up. It's our only it's our only option. Let me pick this thing up. Are you did you lose your mind? I'm not losing my mind, bro. I'm thinking logically. I'm not being seen with a freaking. Logically, would you Why are you dragging that in your house? We have to go dress him up. Why don't we dress him up outside? Cuz I gotta take him to the wardrobe. I want him to be fresh. Screw it. Let's warm him up because if he's stiff, we probably break all the bones. Pull this off down the street. What do you mean? How are we going to pull this off? What are we going to do? He's got a point. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying. How are we going to pull it what off? What do you mean? What are we going to do? Dude, it's literally a skeleton clothes. Yeah, what, what are we going to do? We could just act like it's our drunk friend, maybe. And we're dragging him down the street. That's like, a horrible like, idea. No, no, no. Put him, put him yeah. over your shoulder. Be like, oh, he's been drinking. But you don't bring any attention. Yo. That could be our fallout. But don't say anything unless anyone says anything. Bro, imagine Dude, the goal is to not have anybody even ask a question. No, I'm not saying we have to we have to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Because knowing you guys Knowing me Well not you, you won't say anything. But you you'd be like, uh uh I don't know man. You might fall. I have an idea, I have another one. What? Me and my brilliant what? ideas. What's your idea now?
Are you done joking around? No, I'm serious. Throw him on the skateboard. You're, ser you're serious? Yes. Throw him on the skateboard. Look, if we... Whenever one of my friends got hurt on a skateboard going up, this is what we did, right? You would sit down like this. You would cross your legs and your friends push you to wherever you gotta go, right? If you're hurt, you, you rolled your ankle or something, your friends are pushing you. Normal. We're gonna act like that's a hurt friend. Or maybe just a drunk friend, like you said, and we're pushing him home. Go ahead, quick, we gotta be quick, because I don't want my neighbors to come outside. This kid's lost his mind. He, he has. You just realizing that now, Paul? He lost his mind. In this time of us setting up this skateboard, you literally just broke his leg. Looks pretty good. That looks like an actual human being. Right? That looks yeah. like someone that's got like an eating disorder. It's all right. Ready? You can I'm gonna start pushing him. We, probably, we just gotta go down the street, two blocks. That's it. Ready? Start pushing him. Oh my god. There is a car. Bro, what do we do? Just we slow again. Act normal. Uh, act normal. Act normal. Act normal. just slowed down. Also. Bro, we're, we're gonna get screwed by this. Bro, we could be down the street in freaking PA by now with this fucking thing. Yeah, but do you understand what just happened? No, I Yeah, didn't. we almost got caught. Yeah, just, just and if he like wasn't this. in a freaking disguise right now, we would be all going to jail. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we could just yeah. put the arms you know on our shoulder. We wouldn't have to be in disguise because we'd already be in the woods. We're wasting our time. Push yeah, the but game what if that car came I don't five care minutes what earlier? Do you understand what is going on right now? Yes, You I say this is serious, but we're pushing a dead body on a skateboard. We're a skateboard. Paul's got a point, dude. You did a kickflip. Like, let's go. All right, well, let's push him faster then. Come on. What do we do? Look how much noise we're attracting. How you doing? Yo, you alright? No, nah, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to drink. We're just pushing him home on the skateboard now. He's like passed out. He looks hurt. No, we're good, we're good. Alright, well, good night. Alright, have a good night. He's not pulling away as fast. Right now, make a decision. We keep pushing the skateboard and attract all this freaking noise, or we just take it and we run down. I, I agree with Paul. I agree with Paul. We're bringing in way more. Bro, look how much quieter I am running down. Dude, he could not root or run down the road right now and be fine. Okay, I'm gonna put him on my shoulders. But yo, we're burying this, okay? I get, I get that. Because listen, it's not just about covering our asses, okay? okay. I know. We What's don't want to go to jail. We don't want to go to jail. I'm not going to jail. Listen, You're bro, to jail. this is a loved one. Is it one somebody, of your loved ones? Somebody loves this person that never got to say goodbye to them. Okay, it's Dude, more than that's just not our problem right now, Jake. It's more than me going to jail, you going to jail. It's somebody's loved one that deserves to go to rest. Bro, so we're I gonna bury his body. That. I get that. But if we keep staying out here and attracting all this noise, we're gonna be remembered as the guys that had okay, dead well, bodies, but not the ones that Shh, keep your voices. Listen, guys. we're gonna put the skateboard aside. I'll put him on my back. Fine, yeah, but we're go going out, we're going through with this mission. We're dedicating it to this person. Okay, that's we're fine. We're putting him to rest. He but deserves it. But think about it. it. We got a light, and we got all this camera action going Hold on. This. And it's just, it's not good. Uh, right, you ready? Yeah. 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 We're dedicating it to this man. Okay, we need to go. Let's go. go. Look how much more progress we're making. I don't want to make too much noise, all right? Oh, we're in the woods now. Let's look for a place. We're trying to look for a place where we can bury him. Where no one's gonna freaking. Well, this looks like him. a good area. Right here? Honestly, it's yeah, pretty open. If we could do it right by the tree, the tree goes over it, it's fine. See the fallen tree right here? I think so. Think so, Jeff? What do you think? I think so. Is it soft? I mean, you'll be able to dig there? Probably. All the whole ground will be solid. We, we chose a bad time of the year to like decide to bury a body, you know, because yeah. it's cold. I'm frozen. All right, I guess we'll just start trying to dig here then. All right, cool. Uh, can you pass me a shovel real quick? 
Do you have the shovel? I have the camera. Oh my god. You put a dead body on a skeleton. You drag me out into the middle of the woods. I put a dead body on a freezing. skeleton? I think you meant to say skateboard. Bro, I can't even talk. That's how aggravated I am. You put a dead body on a skateboard, you drag me out here in the middle of the- Okay, well stop arguing, guys. I'll just- You guys can- I'll stay with this- with this guy. You guys just freaking- You're damn me. right you're gonna stay with him. I'll stay with him. You guys run and get the shovels. Jeff, I'm sorry. Put the camera on me. Hold on. Let me put this guy down. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Please hurry up. I'm gonna stay here with this guy. Well, Mr. Guy. I don't know your name, and uh, I don't think I ever will know your name. But it looks like it's just me and you right now. And as weird as it may sound, I don't really think it's weird, to be honest. I'm not talking to you, it's kind of like, it's kind of easy, you know? I'm starting to feel like I'm getting to know you, even though you're not talking back. You know, even though we've only been hanging out for the past like 20 minutes or so I think it's like I'm getting to know you almost like you're my friend oh god this is so weird I'm talking to a freaking skeleton yo I know <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to you right now I don't know if you can hear me I don't know what the afterlife you know has to offer but I do know one thing about the afterlife and that is that the people that you leave behind that loved you very much are going to be very sad and they're missing you very much that much I do know about the afterlife you know there's a million different religions a million different gods that you can believe in and we just simply don't really really know the truth you know I like to believe that there's someone looking down on us, but there's one thing you can't deny, and that's the ones that you left behind. Really freaking miss you right now. That's why I kind of really want to put you to rest so you can be at ease and you can watch over the people that you love. Because whatever happened to you, I know, I know you did not deserve it. So. My friends are going to get some shovels right now. And we're gonna... We're gonna have a fun night tonight, alright man? We're gonna have a fun night tonight. Ooh, it's a cold night, but we're gonna have a fun night. After sitting here in silence for a little bit with you, and we just talked about how, uh... You know, it's not fair that the ones that you love never got to say goodbye, because that might be the hardest part, you know? But, uh, actually, I just also lost somebody that I never got to say goodbye to. I've had, I've had many, many losses in my life. Way more than the average person, I, I would say. And, uh, recently I lost someone that probably had the most impact in my life, the man who raised me to, to be who I am today, he raised me for, you know, 17 years of my life. Uh, and I actually never got to say goodbye to him or to thank him or to tell him that I loved him and that I forgive him for anything that he may have done. He never got to tell me his, uh, his goodbyes. I never got to say goodbye to him. And I think that's what weighs heavy on me right now. Is uh... The people you loved never got to say goodbye to you. We're gonna make this right tonight. My friend should be back any minute with that show. Yeah. You got two shovels too? Yeah. We will have brought a third, but somebody's got to hold the camera, so... Yeah, so who's holding the camera? You right now. I'll hold the camera, you two dig? Yeah. Bro, well, I used to dig holes for a living. I can do this. Alright. You guys know where the soft spots are. Let's get to doing it. The soft spot seems to be your heart for this right here. Dude, no one deserves to... Oh, why are you digging right to there? Do, to be like that right now. 
Yeah. Start digging. Let's go. Hard man, it's not gonna work out the way dude. you want it. Give, dude, him, give me the Jake shovel, the Jake. The ground's frozen, dude. It's frozen. I want to bury him just as much as the next guy, but we can't, bro. It's really, frozen. we're lucky we got two feet into the ground. Do we have to do a better job than that? Only half of his body Jake, is in there I right get now. It. I feel you, okay. But guess what? You pick a bad time to bury a dead body, dude. When the ground is frozen, we're lucky that we're able to get to two feet. We don't have an excavator to bury the body six feet like so everybody else. We can't else. just leave him hanging halfway out like that? What don't you understand from what he's saying? Okay? We can't. Alright? So you're gonna leave a, a no, body I don't want halfway to. out. I don't so want cover to. him the cover if him up. If you wanna cover him up, you go get some fing leaves and cover it up yourself. I agree. I with did you. as much as I could. Alright? I've been in this from the start. Alright? I'm not letting him down or or you down or any of the fans down. Because at the end of the day, I wanna bury him just like you do. So don't ever say that I'm not trying my hardest. He's got a point. Dude. He can, he can sit over there and cry all he wants, Jake. but we can't leave a body halfway no, out. Hey, Jake, Dude, this is because of you. Because at the end of this the day- This is because of you. You bought a serial killer's house. I want we to didn't give kill this, this person. person their soul the reminisce or whatever, the, the moment where they can just go away in peace. But I literally can't dig this hole. I literally can't. I'm not, if you would let me speak without screaming, I'm not saying dig a hole deeper, I'm saying we need to cover him. We can't I, let him just sit what? there with that. Well, we don't have enough dirt, Jake. We don't have an excavator. Unless well, we have to figure it out. Stop we sitting here and complaining like a freaking bitch, bitch and let's do it. Bro, I'm complaining. I am complaining. Look at You're you. You're the one that's Crying. trying to bury your body that was in your crawl space. You could have just put the house up for sale. Leave. Leave all the problems. We will have been fine. Why did I come back to this mess? Why? Now I'm here f***ing burying a body with you. You figure this Dude, out. This you... is your problem. And everybody else you know can what? agree. This is your problem. Okay. Well, it is my problem. So you, you have the option to leave right now. I'll do it myself. Just give me the camera. You do it. You know, I, I don't... You know, I get that you guys are emotional. But I handle emotion a little bit different. Instead of sitting there complaining, yeah, you want to bury a body. Working, instead of sitting there complaining about something's not working, I figure out how to make it work. I'm not leaving a body sitting here like this. I'm gonna cover it myself. No, you can put that down. I'll do it myself. I'm mean, care if it takes all day. I can well, do it we don't have all day, Jake. We got some in the night, and that's it. What? Why we're here? Why we're freaking running away in the first place? Because if you haven't noticed, we're on a crunch for time. I can barely take a poop without thinking someone's got a camera in my freaking window watching me. Yo, just cut the camera, and can you guys just put the camera down, and everybody just help me get some dirt on the side? No, 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 you were complaining about me digging a hole. You can dig the hole. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold your right camera. Now. You want everything recorded and documented for your freaking documentary at this point, Jake. We need to get more dirt on him, Jeff. Well it's then, not, not, I, well guess not. what? We only have two shovels, Jake. Well, I'll use my hand. Here, turn the camera off. Let's. We're in this together. We're getting this thing covered. Here, give me the camera. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think so too. It's a very shallow grave, but I tried. It's it's better than before. Listen, we're all yeah, working. okay. I just apologize real quick, Jake. It's all good. I, my, my emotions are getting hey, listen. Me right now. Hey, listen. Both listen, of you guys, listen. don't apologize to me. Let's just all s have like, our last day, words. I don't want anything to happen to us. Bro, we're literally burying somebody right okay, now. Okay, don't worry about me. Let's say our goodbyes to this innocent live that we just lost. Paul, you got something to say? You know, we didn't ask for this lifestyle. We just came here to uh, try to change the world one step at a time. 
But it looks like the world has a different plan for us, and uh, we won't let something like this define us. We let you down. We didn't give you the grave you deserve. We didn't do a lot of things. But at the end of, at the, end of the day, we might have lost the battle, but we're going to win the war. What's going on right now is terrible. And emotionally speaking, I can't keep taking this. We can't keep letting them down. This fight needs to end and we need to win soon. Whoever it is we just buried, they may be at peace for now. And they might have a little makeshift cross. But by God, we can't let this happen to anyone else. We can't keep failing. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a failure. Never was, never have been, never will be. So for the sake of save the children, for the sake of them, for the sake of us, we need to come together now and take this by the balls or it's gonna screw us big time. Let's, let's dedicate these next uh, couple weeks, next couple journeys for this man right here or, or a female. Jeff, you got anything you wanna say? My whole life I was told to never give up. Never take failure as an option. So many times I've given up and I failed. Loki, I feel like I've I failed right now. That I failed this unknown person who didn't even get to live a full life to give them the proper burial. I know I was bitching and moaning the whole time because it literally was almost impossible to do. And when you put your mind to to something it's never impossible to do anything I just wish literally they could take my life right now and just continue to live on because it's not fair for them to have been killed by a serial killer and not have a chance I've been through a lot of loss a lot more loss than many people know I almost took my own life in 2018 <laughs> Not fair, bro. Wish there was more I could have done. I wish there was more we could have done for this person and given them the proper send away. I don't even know them. I feel bad. I wish I feel bad because there's nothing we could have done. We've tried our best to only get f***ed in this situation. Nobody knows the pain that we're going through right now. That Paul's going through, that I'm going through, that you're going through, and that what that person went through. And how we all just wish the pain could end like uh, the pain ended for that person. But we don't want that. We don't want to be like that. And we keep going down this route, Jake. We keep going down this route, we're gonna end up like that. And that's the issue. I don't want to end up like that. I know Paul doesn't want to end up like that. I know you don't want to end up like that. We just try doing what we can. I still feel like I wasn't able to do enough. There's times in my life where I've tried to save people and it wasn't enough. I literally had people die in front of me. It still wasn't enough. I failed CPR on my own grandmother, Jake, that lived with me. And this is what it feels like. This is somebody that I don't know, but that I feel now connected to and that I love, and I feel like I failed once again. Take it easy, Jeff. I know you're hurting just like us all. We're in this together, all right? It's gonna be I hurt right. more than most. I have more demons than most. The only thing we can do now is, is just say our goodbyes, and if you don't mind, I'd like to I'd like to say something as well. Yeah, go ahead. If you can, uh, Paul, can you just take the camera for me for a moment?
Yeah. No, 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 we gotta go. That's the cop. That's the cop. No, we're going. We gotta, we gotta go. go now. We gotta go. We gotta go. Jake, we gotta go. No, no, Jake, we have to go now. Jake, we have to go now. No, dude, dude, Jake, seriously. Jake, listen to me. Shh. You're the one gonna call the cops. They don't know Jake, listen. We either lose the battle or we win the war. Go now or never go again. Make a choice. Make a choice. We have to go now. We have to go now. We have to go now. Dude, I have to. Rest easy, King. Yo, I have to go. I have to go. I want to say to him, bro. Jake, we have to go now. Come on. The more loss a person deals with in their life, the more understanding we become. It's like we start to see the world through a different set of eyes. The power that pain gives us is unmatched by any other experience. God has given us all the power to connect with each other beyond the normal five senses. Some call this the sixth sense. But I call it love, passion. I call it the power that we can all change the world with. I may not be able to hear, touch, see, smell, or even taste you, but I will endure your pain and I will carry out the dreams that ran through you. You may be dead, but your sixth sense, that will forever live on.